Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. The year 2020 has been full of unpleasant surprises. So far, it's given us murder hornets, the COVID-19 pandemic, UFO footage, and how to add to the list Ellen DeGeneres is soon ending her show. Due to the frenzy of troubling accusations that have surrounded the talk show, it's now being placed under investigation. Things aren't looking good, and it seems that this time even Ellen's A-list celebrity friends won't be able to help her out with this one. Rumors about Ellen It's been years since rumors about Ellen DeGeneres first came to light. Apparently, Ellen isn't exactly like the ray of sunshine that she pretends to be on her show. It's only backstage where she really shows her true colors. These claims have now put the Ellen DeGeneres show under investigation. Recently, the news and entertainment company BuzzFeed released an article in which 10 of Ellen's former employees accused Ellen of being a two-faced person. Her kind demeanor only lasts as long as the cameras are recording. Even though she is always very warm with her guests and audience on her show, her former employees say that her kindness never extended to them. Some even shared stories about how they were fired for being on medical leave. That's intense. Many of her employees also confirmed the rumor that Ellen does not talk to her subordinate staff members. Where's that guy? Bring him back. No. You have to be nervous you have to be scared i mean right ah! oh my god oh my god failing management though many accuse ellen others say she only knew what management would inform her as she didn't communicate with her employees herself ed glavin mary connelly and andy lastner the executive producers of the show have said they have tried to take these claims as seriously as possible but things have gone too far now and the investigation is out of their hands but cherry on top, it's not just the show that is being accused of harboring a bad work environment, but the show's executive producers, Ed Glavin and Kevin Lindman, have also been under fire for misconduct with their employees. Modern family, oh, 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 you carry, you have to carry. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, these are my two best friends here. Under investigation. During the global pandemic, when this show became remote, there was no communication with the crew members at all. None of the staff was being updated regarding the status of their jobs. The staff had no idea as to what was really expected of them during this weird situation. Now, the Ellen DeGeneres show is under an internal investigation by Warner Media. The company is going to interview both the present and ex-employees of the show about the claims and accusations. Because I always had to be careful that we wouldn't hire too many people. I was always worried because I was people who worked for me were older than me and they had kids. And I always thought, well, what if we don't... Ellen was being ignorant. Ellen DeGeneres had stated herself that her intentions were pure when she first started the show. All she wanted to form was a happy and ethical working community. The recent claims have left her feeling very disappointed, but here's something we have to say about all this drama regarding Ellen not knowing that her staff was being mistreated. She has been working on the show for years now. How can it be true that she never even had a chance to hear what her employees were going through? Also, let's not forget that Ellen can't be bothered to talk to her staff members, which to us is the reason she's going through all this trouble in the first place. Like how arrogant would you have to be to refuse to talk to the very people that work for you? Just blows your mind. No. We see around it. Why? Look Why in your eyes. I can. I can. T she's y'all. She's pregnant. I can tell by her eyes. I am pregnant. No, not I you. I am pregnant. Kylie is pregnant. Heavy price to pay. It seems that Ellen is not as innocent as she is trying to make herself look. Even if she was simply ignorant this whole time, this entire situation could still cost her fans and her personal friends. Ellen has always been known for inviting people from all over the place, be it a famous celebrity or someone who made it big on the internet. Her fans love turning into her show for the stars that grace the stage, who she also claimed to be good friends with. She's invited people like Oprah, Jennifer Lawrence, and even Michelle Obama. But in this time of crisis, it seems that none of her so-called friends have been trying to help her situation. Out of all the hundreds of thousands of people who have been on her show, only a handful are ready to vouch for her. It could be that the celebrities are being reluctant to show their support as the investigation is still underway. It might just be too risky to be supporting Ellen so openly at this stage, as it might tarnish her own name. However, this deafening silence from the A-list celebs isn't making the situation any better, as even a little bit of support from them could speak volumes. The few names who have come out in support of her are Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, and Katy Perry. The support might help Ellen feel better, but it won't really clear her name. Modern family, oh, 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 you carry, you have to carry. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, these are my two best friends here. Blamed by the celebs. Brad Garrett recently made a tweet about Ellen, and it seems like everything that we have heard so far is actually true. The Everybody Loves Raymond star, who has also been an occasional guest on the Ellen DeGeneres show, guest addressed the recent accusations and tweeting that Ellen's treatment of her staff member is nothing new. In fact, it's common knowledge. Last year in 2019, Ellen had her fan base and many stars divided when she was seen spending time with ex-president George W. Bush. Even though many tried to defend her friendship with the man, other celebs including Mark Ruffalo and Susan Sarandon were quick to call her out for it. Ellen has allegedly even gone as far as banning guests from her show for sharing the president's views on certain issues. She also got invited to YouTuber Nikki tutorials on her show, who did not hold back about her experience on the show. According to Nikki, she wasn't allowed to use the nearby bathrooms as they were all reserved for either Ellen herself or the Jonas Brothers. How terrible is that? Enjoy um, exercising three times a day. <laughs> and 
Guys, if you have someone that you don't see on a regular basis, yeah, three times a Her bodyguard hates her. You must have seen the infamous star-studded Oscar selfie that Ellen took. Well, her bodyguard doesn't have any fond memories from that night as the only thing she remembers is being treated by the cold and belittling Ellen. According to him, he's worked with many celebrities before, but this was definitely his worst experience. She didn't even say hi to him. In the light of all the allegations and claims, it seems that the Ellen DeGeneres show is going to end for good. There's going to be no light at the end of this tunnel for Ellen as she has already canceled. Because I feel like, first of all, Start a beef, but I decided to call myself Cardi E, and I, I, I posted that. And did I start? This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.